Hey, we're good. Want me to call the meeting to order? Okay. Yes, please. Yep. Good evening. Uh, this is the Design Review Advisory Committee meeting uh, from Wethersfield, Connecticut. And uh, tonight we have uh, a couple of applications uh, for us to review. Uh, I hope uh, Mike and Andrea had a chance to go out and take a look at the particular sites. Uh, I, I, I did, so when we get around to each of the issues, we can uh, talk about them. So the first on the agenda is application number 402-2021, uh, Chips Restaurant, seeking approval for outdoor patio application. Uh, John, I guess you're on, so. Hi. Thank you. Good evening. Um, John Wicko, architect representing Chips Family Restaurants. Uh, the offices we're working out of are 58 Prospect Street in Milford. Uh, we're the original architect for the building, so I hope you like the building the way it sits. Um, we are proposing exterior dining uh, area to the um, outside of the front of the building. Um, the owner is is uh, providing the outdoor dining patios to meet the demand of his customers uh, who are looking for COVID safe dining uh, that has ample open air and distance uh, between guests uh, for the best possible dining. Uh, the location at the front is um, not disruptive to the existing site and works well with the existing flow pattern of the interior of the restaurant and requires minimal changes um, to the to the building to have it function properly uh, and also works well with, with the aesthetics of the building. Um, Thomas is here from my office. He can describe the um, the architecture design and uh, the various materials for you. Uh, hello, this is Thomas Sloda. Uh, architectural associate at John Wicko's office at uh, 58 Prospect Street. Um, Peter, can, can we share uh, our screen or? Sure, let me uh, give you those permissions here. Hold on one second. Okay, you should um, should be able to want to give it a shot now. There we go. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the this proposed site plan uh, that everyone should have. Uh, it's showing the restaurant um, uh, and and the side view we're proposing the. Uh, outdoor dining at along the Silas Dean Highway. Um, can we move along to the. Uh, this, yeah. uh, so this is the this is the plan showing the existing building back here. Um, the flow through the through the building would be still through the main entrance, the existing uh, vestibule. Uh, patrons would go past the reception desk. And then they would be able to enter onto the patio. Uh, the patio uh, is uh, made out of concrete pavers um, with retractable awnings uh, that are uh, shown in the in the gray hatched area. Um, there is a perimeter fence that is cedar around this open patio area, and then a masonry uh, stone veneer. Uh, perimeter wall around the, uh, the covered patio area. Um, we are proposing to remove uh, some of the existing booths that are along this wall, uh, and we're just replacing them with some movable tables um, and adding some sliding multi-glide stacking doors in place of the existing windows um, that, that are there currently. 
Um, as far as the, the sidewalks go, uh, this is the exist, this one along the bottom of the page is, is the existing sidewalk, uh, on, not on the property. Uh, we are removing a, a sidewalk which goes through where our patio is located, but we're going to connect to that with this new existing, uh, new, new sidewalk here, and there's an existing sidewalk on the left side. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess, yeah, we'll add some uh, landscaping that uh, goes around the perimeter and uh, makes it look uh, appealing to, you know, from the exterior. Um, and then our, our elevations are, are showing the, um, this, the existing awnings, the new awnings, which will match the existing color. Uh, these three above these these uh, slight stacking doors um, are, are the retractable awnings mounted to the building facade. Um, then our cedar fence at the open patio area and the uh, stone veneer, which matches the existing stone veneer on the building, um, you know, on, on this oh, under the uh, covered area. Um, and then we have our sample board as well, which is one second. Uh, showing those same things, uh, the, the, the lighting would match the existing lighting on the building. The awning color matches the existing awnings. Uh, stone matches the existing stone. Um, and we're just introducing the cedar fence and the concrete pavers. That should be it. Okay. Yeah, that's all we have. To, rather simple um, in terms of it's it's uh, uh, matching the existing building basically, and just trying to keep that that good style that's there currently. So that that concludes our presentation. Thank you. I, I have a couple of questions. Oh, Bruce or like you need to go. Um, first, just with the, the fencing, um, is that intention to screen the customer's view from the Silestein Highway? Is that the rationale that you went with the solid um, screening versus open? Yeah, it's, it's more just, you know, for the to kind of shield the tables. Um, it is low, so it, it really isn't a, a, a screen from the, from the road. It's just to um, add some privacy and also to contain, you know, the, the, the customers to the patio and not let it become a free-for-all where they're out, you know, running around if you have kids. Yeah, and, and the, the furniture and everything. Okay, and yeah. then uh, the, the maintenance, and are any maintenance concerns with the wood fence? Uh, no, nothing out of the ordinary that's not different than what their siding is. Um, he's probably going to oil it and just and keep it, you know, natural, um, which matches the, the, the wood cedar shingles. Okay. Um, and then with regard to the retractable awning, does it have a frame? So when it's in the retracted mode, there's some sort of framework exposed or how does it how does it work or look? I think it's small enough that it doesn't require any extra support. Um, it's a scissors type operation that that um, dispenses the the length of the, the awning. Is that correct, Thomas? Yes, it has it has two arms on on the ends that that fold out as it gets pulled out. So, so there's so there's no holes or support. Right. It's truly off the building and nothing touches the ground. Okay, and then when it retracts, it's completely flush to the building. There's no other frame components that are project projecting out from the building. Correct, right. Okay. It, it kind of it gets concealed in a box, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Mike, do you have anything? Yeah, a couple, just a couple of quick questions. I guess continuing on the canopy um, discussion, do you know is the intent to have them out 
essentially the all the time 24 seven or are they going to be retracted when the place is closed? Do you know? Yeah, they'll be retracted only, only there um, and open when there's customers and it's and it's in use. Okay. Um, um, and then the, the two gates that you have on either side, are those going to be cedar wood gates? Or are they metal? Uh, yeah, cedar yeah, to, to match the fence. Match the fence. Okay. I'm not sure if it indicates that on the plan. Okay. And then the only other question I had was, um, or I guess comment was to hope that I guess along the, the privacy fence or the cedar fence that goes right up against the sidewalk in the renderings, you do show um, some of the low shrubs and grasses on the plan. It looks like it could be a little tight. I just want to make sure that. There is, an, there is still going to be enough room to put some type of planting so it's not just a solid fence up against the sidewalk. Yeah, we got to be careful because there is, um, it's a, I think it's a couple of feet um, between it. Yep. So, you know, you can get, get the appropriate, you know, um, planting material that doesn't overgrow and go into the sidewalk too. That's a concern of ours. So right. we'll, we'll work that through with, um, with the owner of chips and his landscaper, his, his nursery. Okay, great. Um, okay, I, I have a uh, comment and I don't know if it's uh, a, a concern or not. It appears that on the left-hand side of the existing sidewalk that comes out to the front sidewalk, there is, uh, looks like a vault cover. And if you look over to the right, beyond the new uh, sidewalk you're providing, there is a electric pole and both of, I'm, I'm concerned that there may be a conduit connecting those two uh, under, under the grass where you're placing the, uh, the 27 foot. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the shorter uh, along the, you know, right hand side is not going to have a problem, but where the the larger one under the chips sign, uh, there may be an existing conduit, uh, electric conduit that's that's running uh, under the grass. I I don't know if that's a uh, who owns that particular conduit, but uh, I would want to make sure that uh, whoever has control if there is one, and I, I have no no assurance that there is a conduit there, but it just appears uh, from where the hole is and where that uh, vault cover is, uh, it's probably four feet into into the grass from yeah. in front of the sidewalk. So. Yep. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate the attention to detail. It looks like the transformer is on the right side and all the utilities are, are perpendicular to the road, so it's outside of the area. Um, we certainly will do the call before you dig um, service so that all the utilities will get marked and, and, uh, and painted. Um, but fortunately, we're not doing any any major other than a fence post, um, anything that's going to need foundation work. So um, I, we hopefully should be able to, to work around it so the owner doesn't have to move anything, um, the owner of chips. But well, we do have a good relationship with the, with the landowner also. So um, we'll, we'll certainly work anything out with him if it becomes uh, an issue. And, and we Joe not being here, who is our landscape architect, I'll, I'll just ask the question. I don't know if it's one of the uh, comments that Peter has from him, but uh, is there any idea of maybe reusing some of those existing plants look, look pretty good? Uh, you know, would you be considering reuse of those or is this all new planting that you're proposing? Yeah, I, we certainly could. I, I know George is a, is the most is a frugal guy like most of us, and if he could um, if he could reuse them, he he will. But we do want to check with the with his nursery to to see that it's it's worth doing. 
making sure that they survive and, and they're the appropriate plants for the new locations. But uh, we'll definitely bring that up to his attention. And uh, I, I can see him doing at least half of the plants will, be, will most likely get reused the way he is. Thank you. Yeah. Well, in conclusion with my comments is uh, I think the proposal is uh, a nice one and uh, certainly would certainly help CHIPS uh, <clears throat> end its business. Yes, it would. Thank you for that comment. I had one other question. Um, I, with regard to the um, utilizing the space as far in, in, in into the end of the season and early in the season as possible, is the owner considering having heaters or anything out like that out there? And if so, what uh, you know, what fuel source would they have? Are they electric? Is there power being provided for, it, et cetera? I, I, I don't know. He has he hasn't talked about it. Um, I don't even recall if because he has a um, a patio, an outdoor dining in Orange. Do you recall any of the heaters out there? I don't think there are. Uh, but if they are, they're, they're propane, those like stainless steel yeah. propane ones. But it, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, on this location, I, he didn't, he didn't mention it. And I'm sorry, but he couldn't be here at the meeting tonight. Um, but I, I will check on that and and get back to Peter and and let you guys know what his intentions are. And that's a good question. All right, and just as a follow up to that, then if if in fact there are going to be heaters. Um, are accommodations being made for storing them when not in use? Like, you know, are they pushed off to the side? Is there room within the patio to accommodate it or something else being yep. done? All right, thanks. You're welcome. Peter, you had some comments? Sure, the, uh, as I said earlier, I did speak with Joe Hickey. He did visit the site and he did review the plans. He had two specific uh, comments. One that was already, I think, addressed about the uh, solid fence, the solid wall, um, whether that was done intentionally or whether you wanted to have, you know, maybe a more uh, opaque uh, fencing uh, option, but I, I, that was addressed. And then secondly, um, he did ask about the landscaping, which is one of his uh, areas of concern. So I think, um, and, and there's no specificity yet on the plan. So I would just suggest that the, um, prior to the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting, that a, uh, a landscaping plan is presented with some more details so that we have uh, some specifics on what will be planted uh, in the various areas. It's good to see that there is planting because it will be replacing uh, the existing planting that will be removed as part of the, part of the project. But other than that, he supported uh, the project uh, and thought it was uh, a nice addition uh, to a uh, very attractive uh, project. Thank you. Okay, uh, with that, uh, is there any concern by either Mike or Andrea about uh, accepting the project as shown? I don't have any concerns. Nope, I'm all set. Uh, then I don't know if we constitute a quorum or not, but I'll, I'll make a uh, recommendation that we uh, approve the design as submitted uh, and forward it to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Do I have a second? I second that. Okay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, John. Well, thank you. Thank you for your consideration. We appreciate your comments. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you too. Great. And Tony, I assume you're here for the TJ Maxx project? Yes, that's, yes, that's correct. Um, then make your presentation. <laughs> okay, um, yep, my name is Tony with American Sign, 614 Ferry Street in New Haven. And we're the sign contractor for the Northeast and New England region for the TJX companies. Um, so I assume you've all uh, have the copy of the drawing we submitted. Um, basically, this is, a, I believe, is a pretty simple one. Um, the existing signs um, are, are quite old, probably 10 to 15 years old. Uh, TJ Maxx goes through all of their stores usually every 
six to eight years um, and just kind of upgrades everything and uh, checks on the condition of things. Um, so this sign is a older neon sign um, and it's in pretty poor condition. So we're basically just trying to replace it with an almost identical duplicate. Um, it's the same, same logo, same size, um, same face color, uh, only difference is the existing sign has uh, white edges and TJ Maxx national sign um, program has black edges, uh, but it's not a difference that you would see from the street or from the parking lot. Um, and then they have the small little, uh, we call it an under canopy sign, which is on page two. Uh, right now they have a, uh, a very old fashioned four square foot um, sign and we're just proposing uh, a, the newer two and a half square foot sign. So it's a little bit smaller, um, just a little bit cleaner looking. Um, and it also, uh, like I said, it goes with, basically these are the signs that they have at all of their stores um, across the country. Um, so that's basically it, really not um, any great changes, uh, just, a, just kind of a, an upgrade. Okay. <laughs> uh, any concerns? The only uh, concern is we have the typical condition that if um, uh, as part of the existing sign removal, if there's any discoloration on the paint, if there's any uh, damage to the facade, uh, that those repairs are made so that, you know, the backdrop matches, um, you know, the existing uh, color scheme before the new sign uh, is, is installed in its place. So uh, that's just the usual standard caveat we, uh, we did. This is almost, yeah. ident almost identical to what, what's there now. So uh, I really almost wasn't going to present it, but um, we have a meeting. So let's, um, let's review yeah. it. Um, Peter, just, uh, just to re um, respond to that comment. Um, so typically these sign projects go along with other um, upgrades that the store was doing. Um, so typically what happens, and they have a general contractor that'll be on site for usually several, two or three weeks. I think it's uh, mostly internal upgrades that they do. So I'm not involved in any of that. Um, but basically what happens is we come out, take the signs down, put the new signs up, and then the, the GC follows us you know, within the week and you know, does any painting or patching as needed. And um, you know, basically they make the, make the storefronts look as, as, as good or better than what they currently are. Good, good answer. Thank you. I do have a question about the, uh, the under canopy signs. Um, just as far as um, I guess, I don't know, if Peter, if you would know, it does that, does this shopping center have a like sign standard sign program as far as, you know, consistency for each of the signs? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's, it, 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 you know, what's already there seems like it's in place with what, um, you know the other stores if if they even have one have along the under canopy so yeah they um many of the existing stores do have the the similar under canopy and this is replacing what's there now so they, uh, otherwise there's no um overall sign you know scheme okay. so to speak so um we've been letting all the individual tenants do their own individual things so okay and the other was i wasn't aware of the black edge um so but i i don't really notice it with the other signs so i can't even remark on it so in my opinion it seems like it's something that uh now that we know about it only we would notice <laughs> and, and other people probably won't ever pick up on it so it doesn't bother me michael anything? yeah i didn't really have too much i just wanted to know do you know is the existing under canopy sign is that currently lit as well or are you adding illumination to that is that new I think it's lit. uh no it is currently lit as well okay all right yeah i'm all set with that i i don't see where we have any real issue at this point uh so I'm going to make the recommendation at this time that we accept the submission as submitted and uh, go to planning and zoning. Order. And may I have a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Very good. Good night.
Thank you. Hey, Tony, there's no PNZ um, required here. So you can, um, whenever you're uh, at that point, you can file your separate um, building permits with the building department and or whoever's going to do that. Okay. Do I need any kind of a letter or anything? Uh, we'll 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 get them a letter, and I'm and I'm part of the sign off okay. process anyway, so I I will just sign off on that. Great. I will get that submitted uh, tomorrow or Friday. Okay. Very good. Thank you again. All right. Take care. Yep. Peter, anything that we should be uh, paying attention to coming up? No. This um third agenda item uh they had to revise the sign package and it wasn't uh, revised in time to place it uh, on the agenda. We probably have a couple more applications coming in. So I'll, um, we'll have to see if we will either schedule a meeting or just send out the information, um, you know, online for your uh, review. Um, so there will be a couple of things. You'll, you'll start having probably to, to meet again, at least in Zoom, there's a couple of projects coming uh, down the pipeline so um so yeah nothing specific at this point um but you will have some some work to do shortly uh the other thing is uh jay hallinan was was reappointed just Yay. so you know however he wasn't aware of it oh. so <laughs> there was some miscommunication so i am in conversation with him as to whether he in fact wants to um continue you know, with the appointment. So he, he didn't uh, respond uh, about today's meeting. So I don't know if anyone actually ever sees him, uh, but if you do um, and you want to maybe talk him into, um, that would be, uh, and I think we, we may still have a vacancy. So if anyone knows of anyone else who might have some skills and want to be on uh, the committee, um, let me know and I can forward it to the um, powers that be. So I think we do have one alternate vacancy. Um, so just to keep you in the loop on that. Keep your ears open. Yeah. Um, um, I had my, Peter, the bringing up Popeyes again, did there, did, did that end up conforming with what we had approved? I have not been able to um, confirm that yet. So I am looking, I've been, um, I've been manning the office by myself for the last three months. So as you can imagine, um, just trying to keep up. We, I, cause we, calls, we turned, so. we, we turned in our packet, so we don't have it. If you want to resend it out to us for scrutiny, I, I, I'd take the time to look it over too. Not, okay. not that it looks terrible. In fact, it, it does coordinate well enough, but it was just sort of a sticking point of, do you, do you remember if that was a, a Zoom meeting when you guys did that, or was it an in-person? Um, that I may have the I may have the recording, so I can probably go back if 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 it was it probably was a Zoom meeting. I would I think, think it we, was. All right, so let me go back, and um, that might be the easiest way uh, to check how we kind of left things. I know there was some back and forth, um, and they had mm -hmm. agreed to make certain. Uh, I just hope it didn't get lost in the you know, in the translation um, between the uh, property owner uh, and then the contractor. And so, the contractor. Um, but I will certainly um, uh, check that. And then hopefully it got included in the approval. So that's the more important thing that, um, I don't know if that was Denise or if that was me, um, but we'll find out, we'll find right, out. And not, yeah, not to add things to your plate either. It's more a point yep. of principle. I don't know what you, <laughs> what you do to fix it anyway. And then exactly. it's not right. It's not it's not horrific. You know, if you look right. at context to the to the north side of the site, it actually yeah. does you know work out okay. Right. Um, but it was just sort of, I guess principle is my point. Plus they make a mean chicken sandwich. <laughs> well, my daughter was worried. She's like, they didn't do what you said. Are you gonna boycott them? That's so, right. No, no, no chicken we sandwiches. Went, we went and tried it and it was a very courteous staff and the flow of the, the drive through and all did work well. So. Yep, yep. Turned out to be a good project. Yep. And attracting, attracting customers. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's it for me. <laughs> I think we're done. But as I say, I'll keep you, uh, we'll decide shortly if we're going to meet uh, to review this other uh, sign application or whether um, 
whether we would need to just send it out electronically for your review. Okay. And that would be for the, Val the Valvoline project. Um, okay. 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 Well, thank you. It's good to see everybody. Yeah. Bye now. Good night. See you guys. Have a good night. You too.